Hey there, today we're going to find out, can we use a drone to take an in-fed half wave up into the sky? This is going to be interesting. So what I've done is on the bottom, I have taped a long wire, 63 feet, to the bottom, not to obscure any of the sight devices that are on the bottom of this. <clears throat> and we're going to send this thing up into the sky at 63 feet or so and see if we can chase some parks on the air from our driveway. Some of the things that I expect to happen, RF is probably going to crash this, or it's gonna make so much noise that the radio is unusable. I have tested none of these, so we find out now. Here is our modest setup at the table. We have the KX2, we have an iPad running Polo so that we can hunt some stations. It's got dog hair all over it. And we have the launch zone. And we're gonna see if it's going to fly. So that's a good sign. It seems to hover. I'm gonna turn it around so the camera faces us and fly forward just a little bit. And it appears that it will work. Okay. So we have approximately 10 minutes or so that we can hunt. And the thing I'm worried about about this thing is what happens if a breeze comes by, but let's find somebody to hunt. Um, I'm gonna do CW since that's uh, a little bit easier. I haven't tried to transmit yet with this thing in the sky. Let's see what happens. dropped about a foot. We got one. Okay, it won't stay tuned. <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely crazy to be using a drone to hold an antenna in the sky. I do have two batteries too, so maybe we can keep this up. This is AB9 Charlie Alpha. coming back to me. <laughs> they gave me a 599. I'm running 10 watts, which is more than QRP. Haha, <laughs> we got two in the book. 14038.5 Well There's that <laughs> So that's what you don't want to do. 
Okay, so you uh, don't want to expect it to stay up there long. A little breeze came by. Somehow it got the wire wrapped around it, and now it's got a broken leg. So I'm going to go find some super glue.